Hi, I'm Joni Kisrell. Today I'll be making a ring using one of Potter USA's pancake dies that I designed. The first thing I'm going to do is take my sterling silver sheet. I'm using an 18 gauge and I'm going to hammer texture it. This is a hammer that I actually ground down the back of a ball peen hammer. I really like the texture. I finished texturing my sterling silver sheet. Now I'm getting ready to put it into the pancake die. So this particular ring is about a size nine and a half from the center to the center. You don't want to measure from corner to corner because um, this ring actually overlaps and I'll show you that. But if you want it longer, I'll show you how to do that as well. So again, from the center point in the middle of the pancake die to here, it's about a size nine and a half. So this is what I did a little earlier. I just made a piece out of copper just to see how it fits me and how I want it. You can bring it closer together if you want a little smaller ring and then also you could just take your shears and just cut it a, a little bit here or here if you wanted a smaller ring as well. But if you want it a little larger I just pull it out a little bit and then I'm going to solder a little cabochon um, a bezel cup there and, and set a cabochon in there. So I'll show you a few different things on this particular pancake die. Okay, here's my ring. I just cut it out with the pancake die R113. If you would like to see uh, a video called What is a Pancake Die? That will show you step by step on how to cut the pancake dies out with Kevin Potter's hydraulic press. So I'm going to show you uh, this ring here. I really love it, but for me, and I'm going to keep this one, I'm going to make it a little thinner. So what I'm going to do is just kind of mark it right about there and right about there. And I'm going to stick it back into the pancake die. I'm going to look from the back. So if you see that, that's what I'm going to cut off because I want my ring a little bit thinner. This is the actual size of the pancake die, but you see here I cut mine down just a little bit because I wanted it thinner. And you saw how I did that. I just stuck it in back into the pancake die and just cut the edge off. So I have a little piece of scrap silver now that's about that length. So I'm going to round this now. So you see I'm just rounding that a bit. Then I'm just going to take it to the other side. Start rounding that. So I'm just going to keep working on that a little bit to get it perfectly round. So this is round now. I actually used my rawhide mallet and just hammered it all the way around. So I also overlapped it a little bit. So I pushed it down over and then under to bring it together. So I could keep working on this and I could actually solder that closed if I chose but also I could um, cut a little bit of this off and then uh, gapped it to make the size that I want and then solder a stone there or whatever I want to do with that. So at this point I want to try this on. So I could leave it like that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little cabochon right there. So I'm all ready this is the uh, turquoise cabochon that I'll be using today. It's a four millimeter. And then I'm gonna just use a four millimeter bezel cup. So I'm gonna solder that right here and then set my stone. This is my finished ring. I've oxidized it and cleaned the excess oxidation off. I've polished it and set the stone. 
So this is R113, and thank you for watching my video. Thank you.